So this week is a big day. Uh, we're moving in the quarantine fish into the main display tank. So they've been in quarantine for about eight weeks, nine weeks, close close to nine weeks. Um, and everything's looking good, so today's the big move. So yeah, we're gonna grab a bucket and temperature acclimate them. Let's go ahead and start that process. We got the fish all netted. Um, they are ready to be acclimated to the new tank. So I got them inside here. It's gonna take a while because the garage temperature is definitely a lot higher. Um, I'm basically scooping some water and just throwing it in here to acclimate them to the condition of the water and also bring down the temperature. Um, I put a little stress coat in there just to kind of prevent them from catching any diseases just because I did have to net them. I, I couldn't use anything else. So they might have lost some slime coat through that process. So I want to try to minimize um, anything from happening in the main display tank. So I got all the quarantine fish inside. Two of them looked like they were kind of beat up from um, just being in the, the bucket for a while. One of the butterflies and then one of the gobies. Hopefully that they make a recovery. So all the gobies are like in the corner over there. The butterflies and <laughs> all the other tangs are in the corner back there. They're just getting harassed by the koi tang here. He's just putting his dominance in there, just like running up to him, just like showing who's boss. Um, but yeah, so I threw in some macroalgae. This is the chlorpa um, that I've been growing in the sump. I've decided to transfer it up here and move all of the shadow into the sump. So now the shadow is running, or I'm having all the shadow in just this compartment here. So it's just gonna grow in there. And then I have the chlorpa in this little basket here. Uh, I think I have enough where I'll probably do once a week. I'll just do some clippings and I'll just throw it down here and I'll let them eat it. And that's what they're doing here. They're just picking at it right now. Um, so yeah, I think we'll, we'll continue to do that. We'll kind of get them some fresh macroalgae plus the seaweed that they're getting out throughout the week. Food source for them. It's a little messy now because I had to move some of the shadow out of the tank and a bunch of debris is kind of getting caught up. So I'm gonna wait until kind of things settle and then grab it and move stuff around but yeah they're eating they're eating that macroalgae pretty 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 good um it's getting stuck everywhere so i might have to clip it even more instead of having it long long like that but we'll see i'm gonna show this ingression for a while i'm gonna see you know how this plays out he's basically just pushing that <laughs> a poor blue face uh angel well he kind of needs to be put in his place because he was kind of picking at the yellow pyramids uh in the quarantine anyways even though he's so small but yeah, he needs to be put in his place so same thing like look, look at that blue tang coming in there just showing like hey who's boss the butterflies uh for the most part is putting up a good fight they're spreading out their little dorsal fins and whatnot and showing you know hey don't don't pick at me so so much but yeah we'll let them figure out what's going on if their aggression's too bad we can kind of move things around but so for this basket before i was just kind of having it wedge um with the gyre and just having the current kind of push this basket through and it's just floating because there's like air pockets that it can kind of hold underneath there. Um, it was fine, but occasionally when turbulence gets too much, it'll push this and they'll kind of just, you know, puts, push the basket down and the bass will kind of float away out of that position or if the fish, because the blue, the blue tang likes to sleep in the corner back there. Um, and basically he'll push that out of the way sometimes. Anyways, I found a solution for that. I got some of these, um, suction cups that have holes in them where you can kind of zip tie. So I zip tie the baskets to these. I have two more suction cups in the back here that kind of just has it where it can sit in place and kind of angle. So it's always in the air um, with um, air in or under um, the basket. So it'll always float. Um, so I think that's good. That's not gonna go anywhere. And then I put the other basket in because I'm gonna get some uh, dragon's breath macroalgae in the back there growing in that basket. Same thing. I just tied these guys back here so it doesn't float anywhere. I didn't use this basket because this basket would always just float somewhere else. But now with that solution, I think 
the basket can just stay put. I want to update you guys on the corals real quick. So some of the corals are kind of like half bleached, kind of like that Monty there. This one's like full semi-bleached, same thing with the one over there. We had kind of like a phosphate like increase recently uh, to like 0.5. I mean, right now the tank is still trying to find its balance. Um, so I think, you know, phosphates is going to kind of swing back and forth. We'll let the tank do its thing for the next couple months here. We're almost at the half year mark. I'm going to send out an ICP test soon on the tank just to make sure that none of the other parameters are out of whack just because we had a bunch of calibrations. We had a bunch of other things. I just want to make sure that everything's good because like right, right now the dosing is kind of just stable I, i'm not having to increase you know any dosing or, or whatnot i'm just trying to keep it stable right now and we're still having some growth issues like you know this gsp is supposed to be really easy but then we have like some weird parts of it just kind of like disintegrating so that's kind of like concerning to me i don't know what the issue there is other than the parameter swings Phosphate being really high could be the issue, but you know, phosphate at 0.5 is not that terrible, especially for a coral that's supposed to be easy. Like I, I, I can see like these, you know, these ones, they haven't changed, but example, like this guy hasn't done anything. He's just been the same, you know, he's gone through that and that guy completely bleached, you know, and then the rest of the SPS is, is basically gone. Uh, the Montes are kind of half gone and, and half not. And then, you know, the, the GSP is supposed to be really easy. So I don't know what's going on there. So. I'm gonna send an ICP test, see if there's anything weird or wacky in the, the tank that needs to be removed. Uh, maybe some sort of metal or something like that. We'll let things settle and we'll see uh, what happens tomorrow with these guys. All right, so it's the next day. It looks like everyone survived. I was kind of worried about the little guys getting picked around, but the aggression wasn't terrible. I mean, the aggression is still there, but of course, introducing new fish to an established tank, um, they're going to show territory and they're going to show who's boss. And that's normal, but as you can see, like the yellow pyramids are coming out already in the front with the other fish. The, uh, the blue face is coming out in, in between the rocks. The one thing I'm going to have to keep an eye on is the blue face potentially picking at some of the softies hasn't yet because it's only the first day but again we don't know um it might even like not do it when it's juvenile and as it grows up it starts to pick at it so we don't know gonna keep an eye on it um looks like some of the macroalgae from uh the previous day is still there uh they didn't eat all of it they kind of pulled it apart and then kind of let let some of the pieces float so it's kind of clogging up the uh overflow there so i'm gonna have to undo some of that so that it can actually flow correctly or else we're gonna have extra water in the tank. I just did do a quick feeding, so uh, that's why they're all on the left side here. I'll probably wait until the light comes on to more of like a white light uh, to do a little bit more of an update on the tank. All right, so the fish are looking like they're settling in pretty decently. We got the blue face angel coming out. Looks like he got beat up a little bit from that tang, McCoy tang. Same thing with the bristle tooth tang back there. Look at them, they doesn't get chased around. They always get chased around, but the aggression looks like it's kind of settling down a little bit. So looks like the fish are accepting them and kind of putting them in their place. So pecking order looks like it's been established. So far I haven't seen any um, nipping at the corals from all the new fish. So that's a good sign. It looks like the gobies, they made a, so the basket here is kind of dark. So they made a little um, hut area back here even though there's like no rocks back there they kind of like dug this area out uh, so there's two of them right there and there's the other diamond goby back there um it looks like they're gonna just chill back there initially they had a, a spot back here because this was already kind of you know dug in uh but i don't know it looks like they kind of just like to be in the open a little bit here 
a lot of floating debris and mess from the Clarpa um, being torn up. It's kind of all over the place here. There's a couple pieces there. So um, after the end of the day, I'm probably going to remove what is, mm, remove the ones that are there and along the, the gyres at least, and then kind of stabilize uh, the tank a little bit because it's just floating everywhere right now. Also, if you notice back here, this rock here was a piece of rock that was in the sump with some of the NEMS. Decided to give it another run or another test to see if the NEMS would stick on the rocks and not kind of get sucked up in the gyres like last time. Um, it looks like they've been staying put. That rock has been there. The three NEMS that are in there, they're kind of like bleach. One bleach there, one bleach there. This one's the only one that's actually colored. Um, are looking good. The clownfish are making homes under underneath that rock. It's kind of like a, um, I don't know, it, it's a weird shaped rock, but it just has like a little hole there. So they're kind of just, you know, squishing themselves in there. So we'll see what happens there. Also today, I got in my ICP test kit. Um, I went ahead and sent off that uh, to, to see what the tank's like. So this month is the six month mark. I wanted to see where the water parameter is at. We'll send that off, so maybe we'll get in two two months, a, a month, or whatever. I don't know how long it takes, but hopefully we'll see it soon. But yeah, so that's just the update on the fish going into the main display tank. So we'll let them settle in. Literally, this is like the second day for them. Um, I'm hoping that they fatten up, get a little bit healthier, and grow up. Um, the tank, again, is probably going to go through some changes again, because now we have a little bit more bio load. I think it's going to help boost the macroalgae's growth. Um, and then once we get some more macroalgae, we'll grow in there. Um, it'll kind of offset some of the phosphates that are going up a little bit more just because I'm trying to feed a little bit more. But the tank's going to go through another change in a little bit here. Maybe we'll get some algae bloom or algae spike. Um, if, if so, we have the, the tang back there that's going to do some work. That one's going to munch on that algae like crazy. So we'll see. We'll see. Out of the group of new fish that I've added in, let me know which is your favorite. We got the yellow pyramid back there. We got the white tail bristle tooth tang back there. We got, where is it? The blue face somewhere. He's back there. He likes this rock back here now, this little rock here. Can't find him yet, so. We got some of the gobies. We got yellow watchman goby and then diamond goby. Yeah, let me know who's your favorite out of the, the new batch of fish that's just been added in. Let's see if he's back here. There he is. There's the blue face. A little blue face right there running around the back. Yeah, if you guys aren't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe. Like always, nothing guys. Peace.